All right, so I've already taken all the still photos of the vehicle, pointing out with an emphasis on the uh, body panel gaps and whatever cosmetic imperfections or the obvious ones that I was able to pick up on. I still need to do the, um, the photo analysis once I'm back at the desk. But uh, on uh, first uh, impression here, the vehicle does uh, uh, present well. I'd, I'd call this maybe like a, maybe a, a one or two footer. That's when I can start seeing some of the blemishes uh, as I get a little closer. But starting off with the uh, grill area here, uh, the bezel just a little loose, a little rattly, and unfortunately they did, um, they they did work down that that character line that's uh, that's important on these vehicles here. Uh, chrome is in decent shape here. Same with the grill, but uh, some of the veins here are um, they look like they're they've been bent and tweaked somewhat. So that's gonna need a little bit of attention here. And then we've got some uh, just some rock chipping and touch up work here along along the leading edge. Bumper uh, guards are decent. Again, just some uh, cosmetic imperfections and prep work. I can see fish eye right there. Okay, the back panel of the uh, star is missing, the plastic. So we got a clear view of the fan. Right. Hood is slightly raised here at the front fascia. And then we've got some more touch-up paint work here. Just hitting some more areas here, properly done. Same here with the left side fender, the uh, character uh, line is missing. Um, Assembly seems to be uh, nice, and, nice and tight. Uh, while I'm down here, let's get the side panel view as before. Here I'm just checking for waviness, dings, and dents. And the driver's side, it's got, uh, it, it does have some waviness in the panel. Looks like maybe a light uh, door dings there. But uh, obvious when looking at this view here, but if you were to look at it straight on, um, you really can't see them. But they're there. Left front wheel, let's get a shot of the wheel well area. Again, just trying to get as many uh, angles as possible. All right. We're checking for any signs of impact damage, any rust or metal rot. Okay. Left uh, rim, we've got the uh, curb rash on the, on the uh, cap. It's a 185, 65, 14s. The uh, DOT on this one here, 2017, so the rubber is pretty fresh. And to see another blemish there on the lower fender. Moving on top, let's start off with the readings. 17, 20, 19, and 19.7. So we've got some body filler here in this area. When I run my hand across the panel, it does feel smooth to the touch, and I don't feel any uh, waviness. Uh, but... Um, and uh, no cracking. It's got a nice, uh, decent luster there. Just some uh, more slight paint imperfections there. Looking at the left fender, 13.5, 12, 14.5, 12, and 11. So a fender in uh, decent shape there. Cowl, 17.5 and nine. Looking at the uh, uh, windshield, I don't see any obvious cracks, chips, or signs of delamination. Here, the bright work is uh, chewed up just a little bit here, so that's going to need some attention. A view of the glass, and then here of the wood trim. That looks that looks pretty good, actually. I think I, I read the advert where it had been reworked or redone. I'll still be checking the operation of the windshield wipers, and here's the public VIN uh, number. And a shot of the hardtop roof. Let's get some paint meter readings. 18.5, 16, 19, 19. Okay, so here we can see uh, uh, workmanship issues here. So where I was getting the bondo readings, there's cracking there, and there's uh, there's a lot of cracking here on the on the center. So that will definitely need to get reworked. Okay, uh, still the higher reading. So so we know bondo all over this panel here. 15 and a half, 15 and a half, 13. Uh, driver's side uh, glass. Here's the glass markings. Don't see any chips, scratches, or delamination. Okay, outside mirror looks good. Just the uh, driver's side uh, seals are worn. Those will need attention as well. I'll be analyzing the, uh, the panel gaps back at the office here. And let's get some readings, 10.5, 14, quarter panel, 
14 and a half, 11, nine and a half. And then um, 18, and then some uh, more uh, body filler use at the left uh, quarter panel area. Again, uh, take another shot of the side view panels here, seeing if it comes out on the video or not. But I know they're there visually. Looking at the uh, left rear wheel well area. I see the use of some undercoating, but doesn't seem excessive. And the uh, left rear tire, again, some uh, more curb rashing on the um, cover. And I've got the DOT here number somewhere. Oh, uh, 2017. Good. All right. Again, just some more uh, paint claws. I'm going to leave the hardtop alone now because we already know it needs work. Uh, glass, decent shape. Here's the, uh, the markings right there. And let's look at the back. Okay, everything in order. Just uh, some fading here on the lens. Cracked. Uh, bright work looks decent. Name plate is uh, good. Just a little bit of touch-up work there. And then a nice long scratch there. Okay, uh, bumper is nice and solid. Good, good. Get some readings. 15, 19, 19.7, 12, 15, and 14. 21, 14, 14. Okay, right, uh, right side. In side panel view, you can see uh, rippling on the uh, passenger side, this one's been beat up a little bit more and a significant uh, crease there just below the door handle, uh, lengthwise about seven to eight, eight inches long. Okay. 12, 20, 11, 10.5, right uh, rear wheel well. Curb brush, not so bad here. Yeah, I got some scratches there. Again, uh, door sills will need attention. Glass looks like it's in decent shape. Outside mirror, nice and uh, secured. Uh, chrome on the outer pull handles look good. 10, 12, 11, 19.7. Let me try that again. Okay, body filler uh, used right here. 10.5, 6, 12, 15, 13, right front uh, wheel well. You can see where some of the undercoating is peeling there, but I don't see any rust or corrosion in that area. And then a final view of the glass and the antenna mast. I tried moving it, but I don't force anything. It's not mine, so it's stuck in that position right there. You see some orange peel right there. That can probably be corrected just by uh, buff and then the rubber not seated properly here on the uh, cowl area. Okay. All right, so I'm about to start the uh, vehicle. This is the second time it started. Um, I did watch it when it started initially. I didn't see any signs of smoke, but let's take a quick look. You're gonna experience what I experienced here for the first time. Fryer's right up. Oil pressure uh, to the max. Tank uh, fuel. Looks like it's uh, working. Uh, coolant, I'm not expecting to get a reading just yet. Uh, Dometer is 61, uh, 61, 142. That's a shame about that radio, but we'll get into that later. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exhaust. Looks like it's in order. The firewall uh, insulation looks like uh, hasn't been damaged. It's not the original one, but uh, the replacement looks good. Uh, brake fluid, a little bit on the dark side, but but still still useful. Uh, just a little bit of uh, surface rust here on the brake booster. 
looking at the inner uh, wheel well area, it looks pretty clean. I got the, uh, the data plate, of course, and it uh, looks like there's a, a new washer pump, so uh, I'll be curious to see if that works. I've got the, the numbers on the uh, fuel injection um, pump, so hopefully that came out. Of the power steering fluid, that one was uh, pretty low, so when I get underneath, I'll check for active fluid leaks. So it's near the bottom, I've got a photo of that as well. Uh, let's see, there's a uh, on, and then I've got the, um, the engine numbers there. Uh, I've got good photos of it, so those should come out. And I'm going to take off the crankies here. Alright, I'm not feeling any blow by or I'm not seeing any smoke coming out. The uh, gasket may need to be replaced uh, only because I'm seeing like some splatter marks here, a little bit of runoff there. Uh, hoses are in decent shape, a little bit of a top end noise, but uh, not nothing too significant. We'll see how it does once it uh, warms up somewhat. Uh, the view there. I saw some uh, run out there around the block. And I looked around, I don't see an active leak anywhere. The hoses, they, this one feels pretty new, so maybe it was coming down there, but again, I'm not, I can't speculate, right? But uh, it's got uh, a good feeling to it, uh, nice elasticity. I don't uh, maintain it, good. All right, let's take a look at the coolant. All right, uh, it looks like this pure water I don't see any signs of cross contamination. I mean, the benefit of seeing just clear water is that it makes it easier to identify any signs of cross contamination. Uh, it still needs to circulate, so but I don't see any bubbling. I'll check the um, transmission fluid. It's in decent shape. Didn't see any uh, uh, metal shavings in there uh, or debris. Looks pretty decent. Here's a shot of the inner uh, render wall area. I uh, did my best to try to clean up the, uh, the number there on the frame. So hopefully uh, we hit it with a couple different views. Trying to get a better view of it. Uh, I get the camera in here now. I have uh, checked the pulleys to see if they're uh, if they look straight and not wobbling. Looking at the side of the, uh, the radiator to check for leaks. My, my view is real limited, so I'm really relying on the camera right now. Uh, this is some more wetness here uh, from the base of the valve cover. And then a shot of the lower uh, fire wall area. And it's sounding, uh, sounding pretty tight. Don't hear any exhaust leaks. And let's go ahead and rev it up a little bit. I just looked back really quick just to make sure there was, uh, you know, no uh, major uh, puffs of smoke coming out and still looking pretty clear. So I'm going to let it uh, idle uh, probably for like uh, 15, 20 minutes or so. Same thing. Uh, get it nice and uh, warmed up. Uh, heat seat the, uh, the um, suspension so that way when we go on the road test, if there's, any, uh, if there's anything loose, uh, hopefully it'll come out during that process. So I've checked the interior. Uh, I like the way the driver's side door opens and closes. Right. I uh, got all the uh, tag information already. Looked at the door jams. Uh, nice and older. Uh, pockets are slightly stre stretched out. Interior looks decent here. Just uh, some kind of stain back here. Uh, horn works, wiper works. Well, washer, washer pump, I heard it working, <clears throat> but no fluid came out. We checked all the lights and um, everything worked, but the reverse lights did not illuminate I checked the parking brake, uh, radio aftermarket radio uh, works, uh, AC blows cold, and the defroster works. So I was able to verify that. Even the cigarette lighter. The glove box was in decent shape. Clock is not working. And uh, these uh, visors are in decent shape. Just a little bit of a uh, slight delamination here on the outside mirror. And uh, windows uh, all cranked up uh, without issue side here uh, when I open and close the door so it lines nicely <clears throat> but when you close it 
you know, hold on. It sounds really tinny, right? But I looked at the seals and it looks like they're, they're pushed in and worn. So that, that may be coming from that. But still, other than that, closing uh, nice and um, uh, tight. And then the swage line uh, does match up. All right, so I've already uh, roasted, road tested here for uh, uh, a mile or two now. Uh, now we just got the seller uh, driving so I can do the video. Uh, I don't know if you picked up on that, but the uh, shifting uh, is seamless. It, it shifts nice, good acceleration. I drove with uh, hands off uh, steering wheel. It drove straight. Also, when I applied the brakes, it, uh, it maintained a straight line as well. It didn't pull over to the left or to the right. Uh, braking is uh, dead on. Again, shifting, I did it manually and uh, in fourth gear, or did it naturally, so um, that, that worked well didn't uh, feel any uh, misfires I don't hear any noises coming from the rear end uh, like the uh, last car and uh, the tires are pretty fresh on this so it's got a it's got a good ride to it uh, as soon as we uh, take off here we'll get a shot of the uh, speedometer odometer make sure that's all uh, functioning I checked the horn I think I mentioned that already in the wipers and here we go I'm gonna stay quiet here Uh, one thing I did notice though, when we uh, uh, secured the top, it's, it's not locking down properly. You can see that there's some play right there, and then we can hear that a little bit. Usually there's a little bite to it, so that's the one thing I did notice. And then here's a shot of the gauges. So we're coming to a stop here and then uh, we're going to be heading back, but I'll go ahead and shut down the video. But if uh, I notice any other uh, uh, change in anything, I'll, I'll be sure to, to add that to the video.